the pair of bisectors of the angle between the pair of lines 3x square plus xy plus b by square equals to 0 is x square minus 14 xy minus y square equals to minus y square equals to 0 then b equals to now the equation of pair of angle bisectors of the first pair of lines is second given the equation of pair of angle bisectors of the first pair of lines is second now require the value of b require the value of b now by using the formula h into x square minus y square minus a minus b into x y equals to 0 the equation of pair of angle bisectors of the first pair of lines is here the value of h equals 1 by 2 into x square minus y square minus a minus b a nothing but 3 b equals to b now 3 minus b into x y equals to 0 now by cross multiplication we get x square minus 2 into 3 minus b into x y minus y square equals to 0 now equating coefficient of x y in second equation and this equation now minus 2 into 3 minus b equals to minus 14 minus get cancel 2 7 times cancel now 3 minus b equals to 7 then minus b equals to 4 or b equals to minus 4 the value of b equals to minus 4 second option if the lines x square plus 2 plus k into x y minus 4 y square equals to 0 minus 4 y square equals to 0 are equally inclined to the coordinate axis then k equals to suppose x axis y axis the pair of lines passing through origin and they are equally inclined means makes equal angles with x and y axis one line makes an angle theta with x axis second line also makes an angle same theta with x axis in that case they are equally inclined with the coordinate axis equally inclined with the coordinate axis now if suppose the pair of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b by square equals to 0 equally inclined with the coordinate axis then the coefficient of x y the coefficient of x y must be 0 the coefficient of x y or 2 h equals to 0 and the coefficient of x y in the given equation 2 plus k that equals to 0 then k equals to minus 2 the value of k equals to minus 2 second option if the pair of straight lines x square minus 2 p x y minus y square equals to 0 and x square minus 2 q x y minus y square equals to 0 be such that each pair bisects angle between the other pair each pair bisects angle between the other then require the relation between p and q require the relation between p and q now the first pair of lines sum of coefficients of x square and y square equals to 0 then they are perpendicular to each other second pair of lines also perpendicular because sum of coefficients of x square and y square equals to 0 now if suppose the first pair of lines their point of intersection origin next pair of lines this is also perpendicular to each other now first pair of lines angle bisectors of second second pair of lines angle bisectors of the first pair of lines now require the relation between p and q now by using the formula h into x square minus y square minus a minus b into x y equals to 0 the equation of pair of angle bisectors of the first pair of lines the equation of pair of angle bisectors of the first pair of lines is minus p into x square minus y square minus a minus b here a equals to 1 b minus 1 now a minus b equals to 2 into x y equals to 0 or minus taken common we get p x square plus 2 x y 
minus p y square equals to zero. But the second equation and second equation and p x square plus two x y minus p y square equals to zero. Both are same. Both are same. Then compare the coefficients. We get one by p equals to minus two q by two. Now two two get cancel. We get p q equals to minus one or p q plus one. Equals to zero. P Q equals to minus one. First option is the correct. The pair of straight lines H into x square minus y square plus P into x y equals to zero. P x y equals to zero. Bisects the angle between the pair of lines A x square plus two H x y plus B y square. Equals to zero. A x square plus two H x y plus B y square equals to zero. Then the value of P required the value of P. Now the equation of pair of angle bisectors of the first pair of lines is first equation. Now the equation of pair of angle bisectors of A x square plus two H x y plus B y square equals to zero is H into X square minus Y square minus A minus B into X y equals to zero. Now equating coefficients. Of x y, we get p equals to minus of a minus b, or that equals to b minus a. Now the value of p equals to b minus a. Second option. The two lines, nine x square plus y square plus six x y minus four equals to zero. Nine x square plus y square plus six x y minus four equals to zero. Or First option parallel and coincident. Second option coincident only. Third option parallel but not coincident. Fourth perpendicular. Now the given equation 9x square plus y square plus 6xy minus 4 equals to zero. From given equation, first two three terms can be written as 3x plus y whole square minus 4 equals to zero. Now here 4 can be written as 2 square. Now it is in the form of a square minus b square. A square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b. Now 3x plus y minus 2 into 3x plus y plus 2 equals to zero. Now the two lines are 3x plus y minus 2 equals to zero. 3x plus y plus 2 equals to zero. Now these two lines are parallel but not coincident. The two lines are parallel but not coincident. If suppose the two lines are coincident, the condition a one by a two equals to b one by b two equals to c one by c two. If c one by c two not equal, then they are only parallel to each other. They are parallel to each other. The given lines parallel but not coincident. Third option. The value of k such that three x square plus eleven x y. Plus ten y square plus seven x plus thirteen y plus k equals to zero. Represents a pair of straight lines. Represents a pair of straight lines. Now, the second degree general equation in terms of x and y means a x square plus two h x y plus b y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c equals to zero. Represent a pair of straight lines. Then the condition a b c plus two f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square equals to zero. A b c plus two f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square equals to zero. Now, by comparing coefficients, a equals to three, h equals to eleven by two. B equals to ten, G equals to seven by two, F equals to thirteen by two, C equals to K. Now substituting these values in the condition, these values in the condition, we get the value of K equals to four. Just these values substitute in the condition A B C plus two F G H minus A F square minus B G square minus C H square equals to zero. We get the value of K equals to Four. Now option is fourth. 
next if k x square plus 10 x y plus 3 y square minus 15 x minus 21 y plus 18 equals to 0 plus 18 equals to 0 represents a pair of straight lines then k equals to required the value of k same similar problem condition a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square equals to 0 now here the value of a equals to k h equals to 5 b equals to 3 g equals to minus 15 by 2 f equals to minus 21 by 2 and c equals to 18 just substituting these values in the equation these values in the equation we get the value of k now k equals to 3 k equals to 3 now first option just to substitute the values in the condition a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square equals to 0 we get k equals to 3 if x square plus 4 x y plus 4 y square plus 4 x plus c y plus 3 can be written as product of two linear factors then c equals to now linear factors are nothing but linear equation in terms of x and y represents a straight line if suppose if it is taken equals to 0 then the equation represents a pair of straight lines pair of straight lines require the value of c require the value of c now same condition in previous problem a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square equals to 0. Now, here the value of a equals to 1 h equals to 2 b equals to 4 g equals to 2 f equals to c by 2 c equals to 3 just substituting these values in the equation we get the value of c. Now, we get c equals to 3. Now, third option, sorry, c equals to, we get 8. Now, third option, c equals to 8. The condition that the equation a x square plus b y square plus c into x plus y plus c into x plus y equals to 0 to represent a pair of straight lines then options a plus b equals to 0 or c equals to 0 a plus b equals to 0 or c equals to 0 a b less than 0 so on like that given now the equation represents a pair of straight lines and real distinct lines the condition h square minus a b must be greater than 0 h square minus a b greater than 0 first condition h square minus a b greater than 0 the equation represents a pair of distinct lines condition h square minus a b greater than 0 h square minus a b greater than 0 now here h nothing but there is coefficient of x y half of the coefficient of x y there is no x y coefficient x y term then h equals to 0 now from this we get 0 minus a b coefficient of x square a coefficient of y square b now minus a b greater than 0 now minus a b greater than 0 for implies a b less than 0 one condition a b less than 0 and also the equation represents a pair of lines the condition a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square equals to 0 a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus h square equals to 0. Now, a b c here a equals to a b equals to b there is no constant term c equals to 0 then a b c equals to 0 plus 2 f g h 2 into f equals to half of the coefficient of y g equals to half of coefficient of x c by 2 h equals to there is no x y term then h equals to 0 minus a f square a into f square f nothing but half of the coefficient of y c by 2 whole square 
minus b g square b into c by 2 whole square minus c h square 0. Now, 0 plus 0 minus a c square by 4 minus b c square by 4 equals to 0. Now, minus c square by 4 common into a plus b equals to 0. Here, c equals to 0 or a plus b equals to 0. Now, here two conditions, one is c equals to 0 or a plus b equals to 0 and third condition a b less than 0. Then, the required a plus b equals to 0 or c equals to 0 and a b less than 0. a plus b equals to 0 or c equals to 0, a b less than 0. Now, second option is the correct. If the distance between the pair of parallel lines x square plus 2x y plus y square minus 8a x minus 8a y minus 9a square equals to 0 is 25 root 2, then the value of a, require the value of a. Now, the distance between pair of parallel lines equals to 2 into square root of g square minus a c by a into a plus b, 2 into square root of g square minus a c by a into a plus b or 2 into square root of f square minus b c by b into a plus b, both are correct. Now, taking any one of them, the distance between the pair of parallel lines 2 into square root of g square, g nothing but half of the coefficient of x. Now, half of the coefficient of x equals to minus 4a. Now, g square equals to 16a square minus a c. The coefficient of x square a equals to 1 and c equals to minus 9a square. Now, minus a c equals to minus of minus plus 9a square by a into a plus b. a equals to 1, b also 1, 1 into 1 plus 1. But that equals to given 25 root 2. 25 root 2. Now, 2 into 16 a square plus 9 a square, 25 a square, 25 a square under root equals to 5 a by root 2 equals to 25 root 2. Now, here 1 root 2 cancel, also root 2 cancel, 5 a equals to 25, then a equals to 5. The value of a equals to 5, then fourth option fourth option. The product of perpendicular distances from the origin to the pair of lines 12 x square plus 25 x y plus 12 y square plus 10 x plus 11 y plus 2 equals to 0. Now, required the product of perpendicular distances from origin, from origin to the pair of lines. If suppose the point is any point x1, y1 and pair of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equals to 0, the equation of the pair of lines, second degree general equation, that consider s equals to 0. Now, product of perpendicular distances from x1, y1 to the pair of lines equals to s11 by square root of a minus b whole square plus 4 h square under modulus. s11 nothing but the given point substituting in the equation of the pair of lines, pair of lines. Now, but point is origin, origin substituting we get only, it is equals to we get only c by square root of a minus b whole square plus 4 h square under modulus. Now, the product of perpendicular distances from origin to the pair of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equals to 0 is c by square root of a minus b whole square plus 4 h square. Let the value of c in given equation c equals to 2 by square root of a minus b whole square a equals to 12 b also 12 12 minus 12 whole square plus 4 h square. 
Now, 2h equals to 25, 4h square equals to 25 whole square or that equals to 2 by square root of 25 whole square, square and root get cancel 25. Now, 2 by 25, second option. The point of intersection of the pair of lines x square plus x y plus 2 by square minus 3 x plus 2 y plus 4 equals to 0. Required point of intersection of the given pair of lines. If suppose the pair of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equals to 0. Now, point of intersection of pair of lines. This pair of lines equals to h f minus b g by a b minus h square comma g h minus a f by a b minus h square. The point of intersection of pair of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equals to 0 is h f minus b g by a b minus h square comma g h minus a f by a b minus h square. But using this formula simplification is very lengthy. Simplification part very lengthy. Now, if suppose the given equation consider s equals to 0, the given equation of the pair of lines s equals to 0, just to differentiate partially with respect to x, dou s by dou x equals to, now with respect to x differentiating y treated as constant, y is constant, now x squared derivative 2x plus x y derivative, here y is constant, it is nothing but coefficient of x, now x y derivative we get only y, 2 y square constant 0 minus 3 x derivative minus 3 equals to 0. Similarly, with respect to y differentiation dou x dou s by dou y equals to x square derivative 0 x y derivative x plus 2 y square derivative 4 y minus 3 x derivative 0 2 y derivative 2 plus 2 equals to 0. Just to solving these two equations, we get the required point of intersection of the lines. Now, solving these two equations, we get point of intersection minus 2 comma 1. Now, option is fourth. Fourth option is the correct. The equation of the pair of lines x y minus x minus y plus 1 equals to 0 and a x plus 2 y minus 3 equals to 0 a x plus 2 y minus 3 equals to 0 or concurrent then a equals to or concurrent then a equals to first equation second degree equation then it represents a pair of lines second equation only first degree linear equation in terms of x and y then it represents only one straight line now the given three lines are concurrent then compulsory the third line must be passing through point of intersection of the given pair of lines point of intersection of given pair of lines means first to find out the point of intersection of the given pair of lines that is substituting in the second equation we get the value of a now the equation consider s equals to 0 then dou s by dou x equals to with respect to x differentiation y minus 1 equals to 0 similarly dou s by dou y equals to x minus 1 equals to 0 now from these two equations x equals to 1 y equals to also 1 point of intersection of pair of lines is 1 comma 1 that is substitute in the second equation we get a plus 2 minus 3 equals to 0 for implies a equals to 1 a equals to 1 is the correct answer option is third the intercept made by the pair of lines 6x square minus 7xy minus 3y square minus 24x minus 3y plus 18 equals to 0 plus 18 equals to 0 on the x axis on the x axis if suppose x axis y axis the pair of lines if suppose the pair of lines intersect on x axis at a and b similarly on y axis at c d now the distance between 
the distance between a b is called the length of intercept made by the pair of lines on the x axis. Similarly, the distance between c d is called the length of intercept made by the pair of lines on the y axis. The length of intercept made by the pair of lines on the y axis. If suppose the pair of lines equation a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equals to 0 means the second degree general equation in terms of x and y in terms of x and y. Now, the length of intercept made by the pair of lines on the x axis equals to 2 into square root of g square minus a c by mod a. Similarly, on the y axis equals to 2 into square root of f square minus b c by mod b. Now, required the length of intercept made by the pair of lines on the on the x axis. On the x axis formula 2 into square root of g square minus a c by mod a. 2 into square root of g square minus a c by mod a. Now, that equals to 2 into square root of g equals to half of the coefficient of x. Here coefficient of x minus 24 half of the coefficient minus 12. Now, g square equals to 12 whole square 144 minus a c. Here a equals to 6 c equals to 18 a equals to 6 c equals to 18 18 6 108 by mod b but b equals to minus 3 mod b mod of minus 3 or that equals to 2 into square root of 144 minus 108 root 36 that equals to 6 by mod of minus 3 or 3 now that equals to we get 4 units 4 units second option the figure formed by the four lines 3x square plus 10xy plus 3y square equals to 0 3x square plus 10xy plus 3y square minus 28x minus 28y plus 49 equals to 0 plus 49 equals to 0. Now, first pair of lines 3x square plus 10xy plus 3y square equals to 0. Second pair of lines 3x square plus 10xy plus 3y square minus 28x minus 28y plus 49 equals to 0. Now, the given two equations represents four lines. Now, these four lines form a parallelogram or rhombus or rectangle or square. Now, if suppose the pairs of lines equations, one is a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equals to 0. Another equation a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equals to 0 plus c equals to 0. Now, the first pair of lines, second pair of lines, in these two equations second degree terms are same second degree terms are same means the first pair of lines second pair of lines are parallel to each other parallel to each other now if suppose first pair of lines equation passing through origin second pair of lines not passing through origin but they are parallel to the first pair of lines now if suppose o a b c o a b c now O A O C combined equation is first pair of lines equation. B A and B C combined equation second pair of lines equation. Second pair of lines equation. But both are parallel to each other. Now, if suppose A plus B equals to 0. A plus B equals to 0. Then angle between the pair of lines 90. Angle between the pair of lines 90. Otherwise, angle between adjacent sides 90 degrees. Angle between adjacent 90 degrees then the lines form a rectangle otherwise square. If a plus b equals to 0, the pairs of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equals to 0 and a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equals to 0 form a rectangle or square. If a plus b not equals to 0, means angle between adjacent sides not 90 degrees angle between adjacent sides not 90 degrees angle between adjacent sides not 90 degrees means the lines form a parallelogram otherwise rhombus 
parallelogram or rhombus if a plus b equals to 0 then the lines form a rectangle or square a plus b not equals to 0 form a parallelogram or rhombus form a parallelogram or rhombus now next observe it in given pairs of lines a plus b not equals to 0 a plus b not equals to 0 then form a rhombus rhombus or parallelogram not rectangle or square not rectangle or square a plus b here a plus b equals to 3 plus 3 6 3 plus 3 6 now it is not equal to 0 then form a parallelogram or rhombus now observe in the second equation constant constant is 49 constant 49 now it is a perfect square if suppose c in second equation the value of c are constant constant is perfect to square then sides are equal sides are equal if not perfect to square sides are not equal if suppose a plus b equals to 0 and c is a perfect to square in that case the lines form a square a plus b equals to 0 c not a perfect to square rectangle a plus b not equals to 0 c perfect to square then the lines form a rhombus a plus b not equals to 0 and c not a perfect square parallelogram now here c perfect square then the lines form a rhombus second option if the adjacent sides of a parallelogram 2x square minus 5xy plus 3y square equals to 0 plus 3y square equals to 0 and one diagonal is x plus y plus 2 equals to 0 x plus y plus 2 equals to 0 then the other diagonal is other diagonal parallelogram if suppose o a b c is a parallelogram o a b c parallelogram now given pair of lines equation consider o a and o c o a o c combined equation because the given pair of lines equation it is second degree homogeneous equation their point of intersection is origin origin now the pair of lines passing through origin now o a o c combined equation is 2 x square minus 5 x y plus 3 y square equals to 0 next to one diagonal equation given x plus y plus 2 equals to 0 x plus y plus 2 equals to 0 now in the equation x plus y plus 2 equals to 0 constant is there constant is there means that line not passing through origin not passing through origin means diagonal ac given diagonal ac diagonal ac equation x plus y plus 2 equals to 0 now required the other diagonal equation now required equation of ob equation of ob is the required now if suppose the pair of lines equation a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equals to 0. The line equation L x plus m y plus n equals to 0. The line equation or diagonal equation L x plus m y plus n equals to 0. Then equation of the other diagonal B L minus h m into y equals to a m minus h l into x. Now it is equation of the second diagonal O B equation of the diagonal O B is B L minus H M into Y equals to A M minus H L into X. Now in given equation B equals to 3 into L, L nothing but coefficient of X 1 minus H equals to minus 5 by 2. Now minus 5 by 2 M equals to also 1 into Y equals to A M a equals to 2 into m 1 minus h l h minus 5 by 2 into 1 into x now 3 minus of minus plus 5 by 2 into y equals to 2 minus of minus plus 5 by 2 into x by taking lcm we get 6 plus 5 11 11y equals to 9x 9x equals to 11y 
or 9x minus 11 by equals to 0 first option. The area of the square formed by the lines 6x square minus 5xy minus 6y square equals to 0. 6x square minus 5xy minus 6y square plus x plus 5y minus 1 equals to 0 plus x plus 5y minus 1 equals to 0 in square units. If suppose the pair of lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to 0. Second pair of lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 plus c equals to 0. Now, the second degree terms same in both equations, second degree terms same in both equations. Now, these lines form a parallelogram or rectangle or square or rhombus. Now, the area of any one of them for all is same formula c by 2 into square root of h square minus a b mod c by 2 into square root of h square minus a b. Now, the area of the parallelogram formed by the these pairs of lines is mod c by 2 into square root of h square minus a b. Now, that equals to at the value of c equals to minus 1 mod c equals to 1 by 2 into square root of h square half of the coefficient of x. Coefficient of x x y is minus 5 half of the coefficient of x y minus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 whole square 25 by 4 minus a b. Now, minus of minus plus 36. Now, that equals to 1 by 2 into square root of 25 plus 144, 144 by 4. Square root of 4 is 2 get cancelled or that equals to 1 by square root of 25 plus 144 that equals to root 169 root 169 is 13 1 by 13 fourth option. The pair of perpendicular straight lines passing through origin also passing through the point of intersection of the curve x square plus y square equals to 4 and x plus y equals to a x plus y equals a the set containing the value of a the value of a if suppose the equation x square plus y square equals to 4 it represents a circle its center is origin and radius 4 units the equation x square plus y square equals to 4 now it is equation of the circle center of the circle is origin and radius equals to 4 x square plus y square equals to 4. Now, the straight line x plus y equals to a x plus y equals to a intersect the circle at two points. The straight line x plus y equals to a. If suppose their points of intersection consider a and b, but the points of intersection of the circle and line joining to origin angle between these lines 90 degrees angle between the lines 90 degrees require the set of values of a. Now, angle between o a and o b is 90 degrees require the set of values of a. Now, <coughs> by homogenizing the equation of the circle with the help of the line we get combined equation of o a and o b combined equation of o a and o b. Now, circle equation x square plus y square minus 4 into from e equation of the line x plus y by a equals to 1. Now, it is whole square multiplying we get second degree homogeneous equation in terms of x and y. Now, taking LCM as a square a square into x square plus y square minus 4 into x square plus y square plus 2 x y equals to 0. Now, it is combined equation of O a and O b. It is combined equation of O a and O b, but angle between the pair of lines O a and O b 90 degrees given 90 degrees. Now, coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square equals to 0. Now, coefficient of x square in the equation a square minus 4 plus coefficient of y square a square minus 4 
equals to 0. Now, 2 into a square minus 4 equals to 0. Or a square equals to 4. For implies a equals to plus or minus 2. Now, the set of values. One value, a equals to 2. Other value, minus 2. Minus 2, comma 2 are the required set of values. First option. If the angle 2 theta is acute, then acute angle between the pair of straight lines x square into cos theta minus sin theta plus 2xy cos theta plus y square into cos theta plus sin theta cos theta plus sin theta equals to 0 is yes. now 2 theta is acute angle and angle between these pair of lines required now if suppose angle between the pair of lines consider alpha now cos alpha equals to a plus b by square root of a minus b follow square plus 4 h square or tan theta equals to 2 into square root of h square minus a b by a plus b any one of them now here the value of a equals to coefficient of x square cos theta minus sin theta b equals to coefficient of y square cos theta plus sin theta by square root of a minus b follow square cos theta minus sin theta minus of cos theta plus sin theta that is nothing but cos theta minus sin theta follow square plus 4 h square now 2 h equals to coefficient of x y that is 2 cos theta 4 h square equals to 4 cos square theta now numerator minus sin theta plus sin theta get cancelled cos theta plus cos theta 2 cos theta by square root of here minus cos theta plus cos theta cancel minus sin theta minus sin theta minus 2 sin theta follow square 4 sin square theta plus 4 cos square theta now that equals to 2 cos theta by 4 is taken common 4 into sin square theta plus cos square theta but sin square theta plus cos square theta 1 square root of 4 is 2 now 2 to get cancel now cos alpha equals to cos theta then alpha equals to theta now angle between the pair of lines is theta fourth option angle between the pair of lines is theta fourth option 